In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up the Fluke scope meter basic trigger functions. Normally, when I connect my scope to a signal, it sets itself up automatically with the proper time base, attenuator, and trigger to give me a stable display. As I change signals, you'll note the scope does everything with no need to push buttons. On some occasions, though, you may want to take control. In that case, we can come to our trigger. It pulls up a menu for us. We can select the channel to trigger off of with the F1 key. We're on channel A right now. We could also trigger on channel B, C, or D. If we want to adjust our level, we hit F3, and we're in manual control right now. My trigger point is a little black indicator right in the center of the screen. If I use my arrow keys to reduce that level, you'll note that the waveform shifts a little bit left and right. I'm now triggering near the bottom of the waveform. If I come outside of the waveform, I'll lose sync and things will no longer be stable. I can also use the slope control to change from a rising edge to a falling edge, or even an eye pattern for telecommunication operations. I'll go back to rising edge for right now. The final step is to select trigger options and change from automatic to an edge trigger. Confirm that with enter. I can stay in a triggered or free run mode. Enter there, close, close, and we're done. That's how you set up the basic trigger functions on the Fluke scope meter.